Doing this, your boy Fit to be King, and we're back with another video, baby. And um, it's been a minute since I've done this. You guys can tell this is like all new. I'm I'm back on uh, the clarity of the video. I mean, the recording on my webcam is mm, so much crisper. And uh, it's been a minute since I did like this, did something like this. Um, of course, I want to get back into doing more reviews. Excuse me. <clears throat> You know back in to doing more reviews and um whatnot but i had to wait till i upgrade some things work hard acquire some things and and do some updates so my footage won't be so bad and um so that my pc can handle what's what's been going on but that should be its own video um i did not record um me doing the upgrade but um, just like the title said of the video, this is a love letter to Santa Monica Studios. And the reason I even titled it that way is because, um, I love the God of War franchise. The, fr the franchise alone is, uh, beautiful, even though, you know, it's a, it's a lot of gripes with other people and how, oh, they didn't like the over the shoulder look of the game you know uh, the thing that people don't understand with change you got to come with it you have to have understanding of what's happening when it comes down to the gameplay and um that in itself is uh a beautiful thing for what santa monica started at and where they're at now and um you know i just got a few things that i believe just like my God of War 2018, um, I said in a video, I don't know if I made a, a dedicated, no, I didn't make a, vi a dedicated video to you guys, but um, right be uh, right after or before I beat the game, I stated that in order to go to the next, um, next part of the map, I wouldn't say stage because, you know, it's a continuous open world or linear open world type thing um to go to to the next portion of the game uh you have to beat the valkyries and a lot of people may may hate me for saying that but honestly um there's not a lot of games that get me to wanting to rage and uh god of war is it's really up there for making me want to rage out. Um, matter of fact, I just showed my sisters a video of me raging um, to uh, Ghost of Tsushima because of the dodge function not working properly. But um, like I said, I think to get to the next portion of the story um, or the map, you have to face the Valkyrie. And if you're not showing up to face the Valkyries, there's a lot of missions that need to be done before you uh, get to the Valkyries or get back to the Valkyrie in order to level up, you know, make it a challenge, make it a challenge and yeah, make it a challenge. Like, I love this game dearly. Like. It would anger me, don't get me wrong. It would anger me. Um, even on um, Ragnarok, as of lately, um, most people probably didn't notice, but I noticed a lot of YouTubers had to dial down the, the difficulty of the game in order to get through it, which, which is understandable because <clears throat> They made they made it um difficult. Even uh, regular enemies uh, were kind of beefy and tanky, you know. Um, 
yeah, it was difficult. But I'm saying this because this was technically what the franchise used to be back in the day. So it was kind of difficult to beat the game without getting to the next point. If you didn't beat that specific point, maybe you're not every... Yeah, maybe not every last um, mini boss or boss in itself to get to. You know what? Now that I think about it, you did kind of um, return to that. Unless you beat the mini boss, you can't. Well, just um, expand upon it uh, just a little bit more. I, I will say that much. Please. All right. Um, but yeah, um. And God of War Ragnarok, there are some things that um, I wish would happen for Kratos. You know, even though it, the game was made like it was Kratos was going to die. Mm, yeah, even though it was made to seem like Kratos was going to die. And spoiler alert for you know, those of you who made it this far in the video. Even though it, it, it seemed as though Kratos was going to die. I feel I still think that Kratos should have gotten like power because he's not from the North mythology. He's 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 from Greek. And the power I'm talking about is not necessarily oh he gets a new item from from the um the mini bosses that he fights like in the old games and, and everything. No, um, there were phenomena, phantoms, if you will, that were in the game where all the runic magic uh, from the North mythology was gathering and becoming these phantoms. And because of that, um, these things were created. But I, I believe if anybody could destroy the phantoms, they should be granted some of that magic. I believe you guys should have um, could have flipped that energy or the the phantom power or energy um, to power up Kratos a little bit more. Yeah, so every time he he beat one, he should maybe his um it depend on which one, depend on which one. Of course, this one would be for uh, his uh, his blades. The power from from this phantom would go in his blades, and the other one, the two in Midgard, would go into his. Uh, the two in Midgard would go into his his axe. I I would say, and I, I love the fact that it was like unexpected. They they just showed up out of nowhere, and you have to face them if you want to open the chest or something like that. So it was dope that that happened in a nutshell um let's see yeah um because kratos is not from from the north he should start gaining more power especially the way the game ended how him being worshipped in which it is it, it's different um if he's gonna be the god that's been worshipped he definitely should uh, uh, how do I put this um, improve his his own magic power which you guys were doing with the Spartan Raid um, not only did we learn in the first game that the Spartan Raids give you healing ability but it, it also grants you a boost of strength for a time being until the bar come uh, goes away and then there are different um variation of the spartan rage I, um and i totally agree with it which when it comes down to the spartan rage you, we should be able to change that on the fly not so much having to go all the way back in the menu um we should be able to um, change that on the fly um, like like how we used to cycle through weapons, or like even now, like like how we cycle through weapons 
it should be uh, on on the same level uh, of that when it comes down to the Spartan Rage. You know, we get Valid or the Fury, and uh, I can't remember the last one. But um, to be able to do something like that is awesome. Um, so, you know, being that the Spartan Rage is a boost of strength and uh, a variation of healing ability. Um, that's just one thing that Kratos, you know, have gotten or learned how to do with his own powers, which is lovely. We should see more of that. Um, now, back to the Phantoms. Like I said, every time he defeat a Phantom, it should become his power some some way somehow because that's all the power that's been gathered throughout um, the nine rounds. Oh, or within that realm, you know, after fighting each and every phantom. But, um, even, um, Namir said that Kratos and Atreus are getting stronger. Everybody else is getting weaker. Kratos and Atreus, especially Atreus, we know Atreus is supposed to become a beast because he's part Greece and he shouldn't lose as much power. And as far as in, Kratos, he's beginning to learn some of the different languages in the Greece, um, pretty much the dialect of, um, not Greece, the Norse um, dialect. And uh, that would be awesome. Now, from what you see on my screen, the Berserkers. I haven't beaten all the Berser Berserkers. I know it's going to be um, such a headache. Um, this this goes back to what I said about the Valkyries. The Valkyries was the mini bosses, aka the big bosses of 2018. Uh, so the Berserkers will be the mini big bosses of Ragnarok, which is um, 2022. And um, because because they're 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 replacements for the Valkyries in a sense. Um, like I said, we should have to, we should have to, uh, beat one to get to the next point of the game, uh, the, the two events, the storyline in some way, somehow. So that in a nutshell would be lovely. It would be a pain. It would make, um, it will make a uh, a lot of the players have to go back and actually compete, um, compete, complete um some of the side missions. Like um, a lot of I, when I was watching some of the other YouTubers and Twitch streamers, um, they didn't complete um, Freya's missions until pretty much close to end game or after the end game uh, of you know Ragnarok happened where it was very vital that she gotten two swords yeah she got two swords and one of the swords um is powered up by bifrost and that is critical from my standpoint that that was critical it helped out you just need to know the proper timing to use it and that was lovely oh and another thing I I think um on from my honest opinion, yes I know the blades, one fully powered up, but being that they're not from this land, and they can pretty much take on the underworld of this land, which is hell hype. Um, they should be hitting like a tank, by maybe the fifth or sixth combo. The closely hit it like a tank. So it, whatever percentage that you guys got for when that that, that combo come in, um, they should hit a, a tad bit harder. It took a lot to even to. It took a lot to even to level them up because the, the levels was so sporadic, and that's when I say. Right now, you can tell where the focus was. The focus wasn't so much on the armor and, and, and the 
the weaponry, uh, unless you know we're talking about the um, drop near spear. Um, that that was the only time it really focused on armor. You can really tell, and not so much say that oh, it was bad that they did it that way. Nah, no, nah, I understand. You know, you got a budget. You going you only got so much of a, a time frame to complete, but. This is why it one of the reasons why we probably should have gotten a third game. And I know, I know. Well, technically, you guys were at odds when it came down to making this in the Norse mythology and the Egyptian mythology. So I know um Corey wanted didn't want to be there too long, so that's why he kinda um handed the second um game off to you know the new director uh and he's been working on the next one so but yeah um this this is why we should have got the third um it should have been the three three part series and because you've been able to flesh out a lot of things that weren't um, fleshed out we still don't know how the horn got blown um to you know to speak with Yomagander. Um the thing with Odin being um sneaky, conniving, and manipulative, we should have got a lot of that. And we should when I say we should have got a lot of that, um we only knew that um Sif, Thor's wife, was the one trying to, you know get Thor to understand that this man has always been this way and you pretty much just ignored it. So it's it's uh I'm it's not a toss up but we should have got that we should have been seeing flashback of Thor uh, fighting the giants. Um and at the same time it was still dope how they did it, you know. But yeah, yeah, we should have got a third game. Honest, my honest opinion. Maybe a lot of people won't agree with me, but I pretty much I love what they did. But at the same time, we didn't get to see how deeply conniving Odin was. You know, we only heard the stories. We only got to see certain things like this. Oh dang, I forgot to put that in. And then the thing with Brock. What happened with Brock? And hey, guys, if you made it to this part of the um the video, I'm I'm spoiling you. You had time to play this game, bro. You had time to play this game, and um he um that was um fantastic fantastic the way that was way that took place. I'm gonna just put it like that, all right? And. The fact, the, the fact, the fact of the matter that he was able to sh um, shape shift or whatever it's called into um, tier, that was that was phenomenal. I was not expecting that, but um, yeah, bro. Um, there's a lot of things that we we uh, we needed to see. Maybe uh, mm -mm, nah, a DLC wouldn't be wouldn't be right, but um. Overall, um, this is my love letter to Santa Monica. Corey Barlog, please, um, if you ever get the chance to see this video, check it out. And, um, um, well, not so much respond, but I wouldn't say make it um, a really hard challenge, but make it a challenge to where a lot of other creators have to do certain things. Um, a lot of the side missions should correlate with the story. You know, it, it will, when I say correlate with the story, make this that story just that much easier. Like, for instance, learning that the actual health bar changes colors, let you know how ready you are for the the enemies that you're fighting. You know, all the berserkers um, or even the, um, the Drago Hole. We did it should have been a lot more jargon holes. I say I will say that much. It was those should have been headed. Uh, even you can even have used those to push push everybody to get to that next level, or you can special gear or 
the ability to level up depending on because how hard it was to face the the drug hole um bosses or whatnot whatnot so you know you guys already know what time it is please like share subscribe come through catch a vibe with your boy it's your boy fitness to be king peace i love you guys we out of here we out here baby